driving east from Houston, Texas, oil, gas and chemical refineries stretch as far as the eye can see. The fumes that many say are a major cause of global warming frame the landscape here, belched out by countless chimneys 24 hours a day, all year round. It's a site local environment campaigners say shows America still isn't taking climate change seriously enough. This is the belly of the beast. If you use something that comes from petroleum, if it's in your car or in a piece of plastic, it's coming through Houston more than likely. Houston has some part in it. And all of the things that come out of that, all of the dangerous pollutants, all of the particulate matter, all the air toxics, the greenhouse gases, they're all right here. And it's not just refineries. Huge coal-fired power stations also loom over the Texas countryside. While there have been some cuts on greenhouse gas emissions in the past few years, operations like this still burn so much carbon dioxide that Texas ranks alongside entire industrialized nations in its contribution to global warming. This plant alone is pumping out millions of metric tons of carbon dioxide every year. But it's just one of many across this state, making Texas by far America's worst carbon dioxide polluter and even propelling it into the global top 10. The White House says a step was taken towards greater regulation when its environment agency declared greenhouse gases hazardous to public health earlier this month. But energy industry insiders say that's not a stand that will go very far in Texas. To, to adopt policy based on a science which uh, to many has not been proven uh, is something that uh, we should all look at with a great deal of attention. Even for those battling to rein the industry in, like environmental lawyer Charles Irvin, decisions made in Washington aren't necessarily where the buck stops. Delay has been one of Texas's, you know, excellent qualities when it comes to pushing back against federal regulations. So I expect them to follow a similar strategy on CO2. I think there'll be litigation. I think the state will try and oppose the imposition of any kind of EPA regulations for as long as they can. The U.S. president may be hoping to forge a global front against greenhouse gas emissions, but there's a lot of work to be done closer to home. Sebastian Walker, Al Jazeera in Houston, Texas.